My name is Joseph Allen. Uh, I live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and I'm 37 years old. I'm in jail, Punk P. Parish Detention Center. Well, I think it's important for public defenders to do a good job because not everybody's guilty. And everybody needs somebody to fight for them. And just because I'm poor doesn't mean I need to be treated any different. My name is Asha Hurlber. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Hornell, New York. I've been locked up since June 6th. It's been eight months so far. I have only had one contact in those eight months with an attorney and that was at court. I'm stressed, I'm angry. I don't know exactly what I'm looking forward to and it scares me knowing that I have a two-year-old that's out there that I can't protect because I'm locked in these walls. It's very stressful knowing that you have nobody out there that's going to be able to protect you and help you through a situation like this. My name is James Howard Jr. I'm 48 years old and I live at Wynn Parish. I've been in jail since April the 12th, 2016. You know, that's eight months I've been locked up. And I've had only, I've only seen my public defender twice. And I hadn't, we hadn't discussed anything. And right now I feel like I, I'm, I'm all, I don't have a public defender. It seems like I'm just sitting here waiting to hear from somebody I don't know. My name is Stephen Ayers. I'm, uh, I'm currently incarcerated in the Winfield City Jail in uh, Wynn Parish. I see my lawyer at this jail to speak to me one time in the eight months that I've been here. And that was, that was shortly after I'd received my first paperwork. And they just come over and say, well, we, we got this case and this and that, and then left. They never come back and spoke to me again. My public defender have not explained to me what my charges mean or what I'm facing. I feel frustrated, you know, miserable at times. I finally got my, my motion to discovery uh, about four months after I got here, maybe a little less. My attorney never spoke to me about what all of it meant or what was in it or not in it. And as I read it, I got more and more confused on a lot of the things that he said. And I've just been trying to research and find out about it myself. I think they're still supposed to help you, and they don't. They don't. These people here don't. It's very confusing going into criminal court or any type of court when you don't have an attorney to defend you because you have no idea of what you're going through and you don't know if they've changed your charges, if they've caused it to go down or up or if they're planning on dismissing it. Well, I'd like for my attorneys to have more contact with me and actually do an investigation on what the officer said in a, a comparison of what I had to say. To either return my, my letters even, to come speak with me about my case, let me know where we're at with our case, to actually care enough about us to, to, to do his job properly, not to just go in there and try and get a plea deal and, and get out. I want my public defender to give me a bond reduction, um, investigate, talk to me, um, give me police reports, explain my charges. There, there's a lot of things at stake if somebody doesn't have an attorney. Your life is at stake, man. Your livelihood is at stake. For an example, their family, their friends, their jobs, um, the way they're treated while they're in jail, they will end up sitting there for months to years. Really, at least you're just feeling alone. And when that happens, you, you just have to live with everything you have. You know, by being incarcerated, you can't do anything when you're incarcerated. You can't help nobody, your, your people that you love and all that, you can't help them. You're just locked up. And if the public defense is supposed to help you in every way he can. It's just, it's one dead end after another. Every, every time I go to make a step or or try to, try to do some research or find out something or find out what's going on in my case, I get shut down. And it just, it gets depressing. It's just, you lose hope fast. It makes me feel like I am being charged guilty without even having the chance to even prove my innocence. I'm a caring person, lovely person, 
that trying to get back to his family and, and fighting every day for to do so. Feel like you're just out, you're all alone. You're just waiting to get sent to jail. You know, waiting to get sentenced. You know, and they're the sentencing, whether you're right or wrong. You you know, it's they're gonna do with with you what they want to do with you. It's time everybody stands up for what's right. Stand up for the people that the public defenders are just hurting. And I feel that I want everybody to know that I'm not afraid to stand up. Neither should they. Everybody should stand up.